Today's video is about how to recover this Samsung Galaxy A32 5G water damage. Hello everybody, I'm Adriana and today with the help of Leonardo we are going to see the cleaning process for this water damage device. We keep losing these 16 screws of the middle case. Do not forget the SIM card tray. Now we can remove the middle case. We should always look carefully for signs of humidity in all the parts of the device. The repair of a water damaged device is about taking small steps. Once we have reached the motherboard, we have to disconnect the battery connector. In this way, we make sure we are not going to cause any short circuit on the motherboard. With great care, we remove the motherboard. Here you can observe how the humidity sticker has changed color from white to red. This means that the device has come into contact with liquids on the top part. On the butter part of the device, the same humidity sticker has changed color. Now, with the help of the microscope, we'll inspect the SAP motherboard. A good microscope helps you a lot when we are repairing a water damage device. I'll try to leave you the link from where to buy one on the description of this video. After we locate the corrosion, we proceed to perform a manual cleaning. We apply contact cleaner and with the help of the piece of cotton we clean the area. To remove the corrosion on this connector, we use a surgical scalpel. We apply a little of flux and we solder the pads. We use a fine tip of solder at 350 Celsius degrees. After soldering the pads, we clean with contact cleaner. Guys, please support our content with a strong like and in this way we'll continue to share real repairs from our laboratory. Thank you. We focus our attention on the motherboard and we continue with the cleaning process. We follow the same steps on the entire motherboard.
To be 100% sure that the component works correctly, we have to measure them using a tester. In this type of capacitors, one path has to be connected to the ground and the other in line. As you can observe, these components are ok. Surely, some of them have lost part of their capacity, but they will work without problems. After making several checks on the motherboard and removing the corrosion, we are going to proceed to assemble the device. We connect the charger to the Power Z tool to check the consumption. We've got a consumption of one and a half amperes, which is a good consumption for this device. You can appreciate that the screen presents signs of humidity. In this case, we'll charge the customer the price of the new screen and we'll discount him the price of the cleaning process. The truth is that you have to find a middle way to have a happy customer. Because a happy customer can bring you another 10 relatives, friends and workmates. There are repairs where in less than 5 minutes you can charge 50 euros and there are other kind of repairs where you can invest a lot of time for a little benefit. And the only thing you have left is the experience. Guys, he is Leonardo, this was today's video, thank you for watching us and see you next time, bye bye.